Despite all of all that help, you know, more than a dozen agencies are helping Portland make up for their staffing shortage. But that does mean overtime and fewer officers than in their own cities. Yeah, Belina Jones spoke to some of those agencies, and what are they telling you tonight, Belina? Jeff, Jennifer, those local agencies, along with the FBI, will all be here tomorrow, that protest starting here on the waterfront. Now, I spoke to local agencies, and they tell me while this does mean more work for their officers, they are committed to working together to make sure everything remains safe. These are the images Portland police are trying to avoid come Saturday. To do that, the Bureau has called in 18 different law enforcement and emergency response agencies to handle the crowd and any potential violence. Reinforcement coming from as far as Bend, bringing eight of their own. Law enforcement in Oregon is a small group. We, none of us have enough resources to do what we need to do independently all the time. And so we re rely on each other quite often requesting assistance. Salem's crowd control officers are also on that roster, with 28 people, including medics and command staff. Even so, the department says response times in their own city will not be impacted. It, it, it can definitely be a burden on uh, our staffing and our resources, um, but since this is a team that we have um, already here at Salem, we've worked through these staffing issues before. With a history of violent protest and growing criticism of enforcement, the Portland Police Association tells me these proactive measures and increased staffing are needed. The expectation is different. The outcome will be different. Daryl Turner, who has criticized Mayor Wheeler in the past, claiming he handcuffs officers from stopping violence, is hopeful this protest will be different. There's a, a feeling that uh, we need to be able to keep our city safe. Officers have been frustrated in the past, and I believe uh, that uh, we will be able to do that with the strategic plan that Chief Outlaw has put forth. Um, and that um, I think going moving forward, uh, a valuable lesson has been learned, although it's been over several protests. Now other agencies will be here to help Portland cover the rest of the city with their calls while their officers remain here downtown. Reporting in Southwest Portland, Valina Jones, Point Six News. And everyone just hoping things will remain peaceful tomorrow. Valina, thank you.